For the last 30 days, I've tracked everything I've done and consumed, and I've learned some interesting patterns about my habits. I'll tell you what I tracked, how I tracked it, and what I learned in the process, and some of the changes I want to make now that I've learned a few things. I tracked everything I ate, and the calories and nutrition of the things I ate. I used my fitness pal, and every day I would just log in the meals that I ate, usually right after I ate them. On top of tracking my food with the app, I also videoed or took pictures of just about everything I ate for the whole month. Next thing I tracked was my sleeping patterns. I took a video or picture of the clock every time I went to bed and when I woke up. And I used my Garmin watch to track my sleeping patterns and it also told me what time I went to bed and woke up and how long and how restful my sleep was. I also used the watch every day to, to track my steps. So I pretty much wore this 24 seven for a month. Every morning, I also stepped on the scale to track my weight. A few other things that I tracked on my daily were my Wordle statistics, some of the things I watched and read. It's important to note that I wasn't setting any goals necessarily, my calorie intake, although my fitness pal does have you set kind of a, a range of what your calorie intake should be. So I was aware of my calories and I was trying to stay in a decent range. Then my steps, I kind of knew that 10,000 steps was something you should kind of shoot for, but it wasn't necessarily the goal. I more so just wanted to track what I did on a daily basis and not try and influence it too much. What I learned was, Tracking did influence it. Now, this was an interesting month to do this because on day three, I got sick, which affected things quite a bit. I didn't really get too many steps that week, but I did get a lot more sleep that week. Then week two, I had a week in Florida for work, and I don't typically travel for work very often. I had to eat out pretty much every day. Lastly, this is also my birthday month, so the last week of the month was my birthday, and we had some extra celebrations. Plus, my son was leaving on a mission for two years, so we had some extra eating out that week as well. As well as plenty of desserts and treats because we had like different open houses and parties for him. Let's get the most important statistic out of the way. Wordle. Out of 30 days of doing Wordle, I got it in four tries the most. That was 13 times. I got it in three tries 10 times, which is pretty good. I got it in five tries three times. I got it in two tries, two times, which is actually really good. And I failed it one time, which is very rare for me. My completion count of almost 400 Wordle attempts is, well, it was 100% after I failed it on like day two, or I can't remember what day it was I failed. Uh, it went down to 99%, but by the end of the month, it was back up to 100%. Like I said, I didn't do a whole lot to try and lose weight. I ate plenty of sugar as you can see in this footage here. But because I was tracking it, I was aware of how much I was eating. And I would have to, every time I put a dessert in there, I could see the effects of it. And then the next day on the scale, because I was weighing every day, I could then also see the effects of overeating. So my target calorie intake, according to my fitness pal, was 2,100 calories roughly. And here's the results. In week one, I averaged 2,003 calories, so under the goal. In week two is when I was traveling and eating out a lot. Uh, and they had treats at work and it was, it was a mess. I averaged uh, 2,200 calories, which was still pretty good. And then week three was 2,035 calories. Week four was 2,100 calories right on target. The results were that I lost seven pounds. Not too bad for a month. Considering a healthy weight loss is two pounds per week, which would be eight pounds, it was right on target. The steps was another thing that I technically didn't mean to really set a goal for, but by week two or three, I was really trying to hit 10,000 steps a day. So here's the results of that. In week one, I averaged 7,506 steps. Week two, 9,101 steps. Week three, 9,358 steps. And week four, 11,078 steps. So very obvious improvement week over week on there, especially week four. I was going for extra walks in the morning and sometimes walks at night just to hit the goal. So it really became a goal by the end of the month. And it's something I do want to keep up. Although the last few days, my uh, Achilles has been hurting and I wonder if it was because of that extra effort in the last week. 
So I've been kind of resting in the last two days, trying to see if I will heal up. Sleep habits kind of improved throughout, but it, it was bad because I have different things that affect my sleep. I work early and with kids, teenage kids, I'm up late a lot of times. And depending on the weekend, I can sleep in and catch up or not. So here's how the sleep habits worked out. My goal was seven to eight. Well, my goal, a healthy sleeping habit is seven to eight hours of sleep. So you kind of shoot for that. Um, on week one, I averaged seven and a half hours, so right on target. And that was kind of due to the being sick because I got over eight hours of sleep once or twice a week. In week two, I was traveling. And so I did, I did improve my sleep habits, I thought, a little bit. But there was some... Uh, it wasn't a full week of travel, but 7.1 hours of sleep. In week three, six hours of sleep. So it went down quite a bit. And week four was seven hours of sleep. So not too bad. So overall, the average was seven hours. And the average time that I went to bed was 11.03 p.m. And the average time that I wake up is 6.08 p.m. But the most common time that I wake up, if you were to go back and watch this, is around 5.30. And that's about when my, my alarm is 5.25 uh, well, my, my phone alarm is 525, which shows 530 on my clock. So every time you look at my clock, it's actually five minutes earlier than that. The big thing I learned is how bad of a problem I have with drinking soda. And the treats were out of control, as we saw. What are the key takeaways here? I'd say overall... Tracking helps. That's the one big takeaway. So I do recommend tracking, if, especially if you are not sure about your health and why you can't lose weight. Um, it was very eye-opening to me. I mean, I, I knew I had some issues in these areas because I have problems losing weight, but how bad it was, was became very apparent. So the goal for this month is not to stop eating sugar altogether, but... Uh, there's a few things that you can see that should be easy changes. One, to just stop buying it. Stop buying. Sometimes there's treats that are, you're at a party, there's treats. You can have some, whatever. Well, limit it, right? Only eat one. Um, but if you're at the grocery store, don't buy a candy bar. Don't buy a soda. Don't go to the gas station. If you go get gas, don't get a soda. Just get what you came for. You don't need the treat. My goal for this month is to not buy any treats, to not eat out, to not eat fast food. Uh, if I eat out, it's only on a date with my wife. Walking has been very beneficial. I'm gonna continue to go for walks and hit 10K steps, and I might shoot for occasionally hitting 15K steps. Sleep, I've decided to not worry about sleep as much. It's not bad, my sleep isn't horrible. Uh, there's a couple things that I learned that kind of throw things off is if I stay up way too late. I do have to wake up early. I already know what time I have to wake up. So the only thing I'm gonna change there is to be a little more strict on my bedtime and not ever stay up past 11 or 12 on a weekday. I think I'm gonna stop wearing this watch. It's starting to kind of leave a sore on my wrist. So I think I'm gonna stop wearing it to bed and not really worry too much about the sleep of tracking it. Eating, I'm gonna continue tracking the food I eat. I'm gonna continue tracking my steps. Have you ever tracked everything you've done? Would you do this yourself? And do you think you'd learn anything about yourself if you did what I just did?